Some of you who have small children may have perhaps been put in the embarrassing position of being unable to do your child's arithmetic homework because of the current revolution in mathematics teaching known as the new math. So as a public service here tonight, I thought I would offer a brief lesson in the new math tonight. We're going to cover subtraction. This is the first room I've worked for a while. It didn't have a blackboard, so we will have to make do with more primitive visual aids, as they say in the ad biz. <laughs> Consider the following subtraction problem, which I will put up here. 342 minus 173. Now, remember how we used to do that. Three from two is nine, carry the one. And if you're under 35 or went to a private school, you say seven from three is six. But if you're over 35 and went to a public school, you say eight from four is six. <laughs> and... carry the one, so we have 169. But in the new approach, as you know, the important thing is to understand what you're doing rather than to get the right answer. <laughs> Here's how they do it now. You can't take three from two. Two is less than three, so you look at the four in the tens place. Now that's really four tens, so you make it three tens, regroup, and you change a ten to ten ones, and you add them to the two and get twelve, and you take away three, that's nine. Is that clear? <laughs> now instead of four in the tens place, you've got three, because you added one, that is to say ten to the two, but you can't take seven from three, so you look in the hundreds place. From the three, you then use one to make ten ones, and you know why four plus minus one plus ten is fourteen minus one, because addition is commutative, right? And so you got thirteen tens and you take away seven, and that leaves five. Well, six, actually, but... <laughs> the idea is the important thing. <laughs> now go back to the hundredth place. You're left with two, and you take away one from two, and that leaves... Everybody get one? <laughs> Not bad for the first day. Hooray for new math, new math. It won't do you a bit of good to review math. It's so simple, so very simple, that only a child can do it. Now, that actually is not the answer that I had in mind, because the book that I got this problem out of wants you to do it in base eight. <laughs> but don't panic. Base eight is just like base ten, really if you're missing two fingers. <laughs> Shall we have a go at it? Hang on. You can't take three from two. Two is less than three, so you look at the four in the eights place. Now that's really four eights, so you make a three eights, regroup, and you change an eight to eight ones, and you add to the two, and you get one two base eight, which is ten base ten, and you take away three, that's seven. Okay? Instead of four in the eighth place, you've got three because you added one, that is to say eight, to the two. But you can't take seven from three, so you look at the 64s. 64. How did 64 get into it? I hear you cry. Well, 64 is eight squared, don't you see? Well, you ask a silly question, you get a silly answer. From the three, you then use one to make eight ones. You add those ones to the three, and you get one three base eight. Or in other words, in base ten, you have eleven, and you take away seven, and seven from eleven is four. Now go back to the sixty-fours. You're left with two, and you take away one from two, and that leaves... Now let's not always see the same hands. <laughs> One, that's right. Whoever got one can stay after the show and clean the erasers. Hooray for new math, new math. It won't do you a bit of good to review math. It's so simple, so very simple, that only a child can do it. Come back tomorrow night. We're going to do fractions. Fractions. <laughs>